All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Round three of our FedEx Eliminator. Three three-minute rounds, full tie rules, welterweight division. Firstly, fighting out of the blue corner, fighting out of the all-tough tie boxing pit. He is two-time, two-time WKN state champion. 26 fights, 21 wins, seven coming by KO. Representing Western Australia, the Red Bull, Roy Wills. Tonight, his opponent fighting out of the red corner, trained out of the full force gym. He is the MASA 61 kilogram world champion. 35 fights, 24 wins, one draw. 13 ending by KO. Representing New South Wales, Joe Killer Country. <laughs> Here we go, Wayne. Quarterfinal number three. Mate, I'm looking forward to this one. Joe Killer Concha, 35 fights, 24 wins. Been taking some big names, Dane Daddy Cool of recent times. Taking on the Red Bull, Roy Wills from the Thai Boxing Pit, 26 fights, 21 wins, two time WKN state champion. Again, three three minute rounds, full tie rules. This, I reckon, is going to be one of the best fight of the night. Uh, I'll, I'll double that. I'll guarantee that this is going to be the, one of the best ones. Uh, I really enjoy watching Rule. He's, uh, 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 sorry, uh, Roy. Uh, he, um, yeah, he's very entertaining, very strong, uh, very aggressive. Uh, and then on the other, other side, you have Joe Concha, and he's been on a tear lately as well. Um, he beat uh, Brian Hassey, um, Daddy Cool, knock out Daddy Cool, uh, mate. So uh, I'm not, I'm, I'm sure you won't need a GPS machine to, to um, find these two boys. They're, they're going to be in each other's face. Hey, yeah, mate, Roy Wills last fought in Melbourne against Sonny Vanappi, who's fighting in the next quarterfinal. Roy's just come back, he's had a big stint over in Thailand, couple of fights over there, couple of wins, looks in peak condition, but the boys from uh, the full force gym in Sydney, Ryan Harpadato and the boys up there, mate, as you said, they've been on the tear lately. And then on the other side you have, have the pit, um, so Roy would, probably would, would, would have been training with Toby Smith over at the Calcium Ridge Gym, so, and, and then they're, they're known for their ferocious hands, so again, um, one of the, but both guys have very similar styles. So this is going to be really cool. Joe Concha sporting the, the Chuck Iceman Liddell haircut to this evening. <laughs> yeah, it looks like uh, Roy attempted a moment, but it just didn't go quite as yeah. on top. Oh, nice catch. Nice, nice left. The fighters from the pit, mate, they're just complete fighters and they, you know, their, their motto is the pit never quit and they don't, they, they're just full on the, the boys there. But again, as we said, mate, Joe Concha has been on an absolute tear of recent times. Yeah. Ooh. Compared to previous fights, mate, these boys starting a lot slower. Yeah, for a three-rounder, you'd think they'd be picking up a little bit, but at the same time, they both respect each other's power. You, you can't afford to make a mistake against either one of these guys. They'll, 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 find, the, they'll find the mark and knock you out. So, it just goes to show what good sportsmanship they are, where we have to have between each other. Oh, beautiful. a nice step up knee. Yeah, beautiful work there from Joe Concha. Textbook. So he's working those uh, outside kicks as well, Joe Concha. Working that lead leg of Roy Wills. Tip the tack. No one wants to get the other guy a little bit of an edge. As soon as someone gets hit, they're straight back again. And you can hear the thud with those slide kicks too. Very painful. Nice teep there by Joe. Yeah, Joe really starting to step up the pressure with his lead kicks. Nice, Switch nice. Up from Roy. Beautiful tie style by both fighters. They're not messy. They're not. They're not just throwing haymakers. They're everything's calculated. Oh, beautiful leg kicks. 
You can, see, you can see the roll of the hip on Joe. Everything looks painful. I was just going to say that he, he rolled that one perfectly from where we were sitting. He was facing us. Matty Reed just breaking the boys. Both boys looking very composed. Here's the full force boys, mate. Starting to bring out the elbows now. Joe Conscious let a couple go. For 62 kilos, um, you'd be surprised holding the pads how much force these two gentlemen can generate when they when they let their techniques go. Beautiful round, that was great. Big first round started slow, but then they really started loading up their shots halfway through that second round. Oh, sorry, through that first round. Yeah, if, if anything, maybe Joe. Here we go, round two. Roy Wills fighting out of the blue corner with the white trunks. Joe Killer Concha out of the red corner with the black trunks. This is. Quarter final number three for the eight man. Good excellent eliminator, $10,000 for the winner. First round's out of the way. They get the feeling out process is officially over. The both boys have got a light sweat on now, so now we get to see the crazy. Yeah, the tempos, you can already see the tempos lifted in the start of this second round. And the lead shin, the left shin of Roy Wills, looks a little bit banged up for my liking. Oh, oh, just a slip. <laughs> Blair Smith was uh, very animated, oh, sorry, not so animated in the in the corner in between rounds. Blair's probably one of the most colourful trainers we have in the country, but he was he was quite composed. Slapping knee there from, from Contra right above us. Nice. One thing I've noticed too with the boys from the full force, they are exceptional with their elbows, but they don't use them so much in close. They use them at range, their elbows. Yeah, it's a hard, hard technique to learn. It um, depends on your trainer too. You're, you're looking for different openings, different um, setups. So if you're with the one trainer who likes to work off them in the clinch, they're very hard to land from the outside you, you, because it's such a short range uh, weapon Com compared to a jab. A jab's going to win every time unless you get the good, the good timing. So the, the lead shin of Roy Wills is looking very banged up, right? Which isn't good in an eight man. In a single fight, you can get away with it, but an eight-man, they, they, it, it takes its toll later on. Especially that you, you cool down in between your second fight and your third fight, and then um, and then trying to reheat it up just before you walk out again, and, and then trying to keep that poker face when the your next opponent lands on it. Now, just great work there from Roy Wills. He got thrown to the canvas, his glove touched the canvas, got up, and he threw a kick as he was getting up. Yeah. Oh, nice body, body rip it. from Concha. Joe's hands are on. He's landed that uh, body, uh, the left rip, multiple times. Yeah, Blair Smith's just calling it to Roy to double up on everything. Nice body kick there by Roy. Straight back comes Joe. I actually expected to see Joe Concha really pick it up in his second round. I'm surprised that he hasn't uh, come out a little bit harder. Uh, again, he's doing what he has to do. Uh, there's, no, there's no urgency. I think he's probably just ahead on this round as well. A nice little tick to the face in. Just slips the uppercut. Crossing elbow, just, 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 just missed the mark. Just misses that at all. It's amazing, some nights you, you can't miss, and other nights, um, if, if luck's not on your side, it'd be surprising, no matter how hard you try and land, you always miss by that half a centimetre. And, it, and it's deflating mentally. The harder you try and the more that you miss, it, it, it really zaps your energy. So there's nothing I can do right tonight. Joe's defense is spot on as well. Nothing's getting past the guard. His defenses are pretty impenetrable. That's end of round number two. Mate, good Great. second round there for both boys. The tempo did pick up from the first round. Real expected in this first round. Third round to... Mate, I can't split the boys at the moment. Fighters cut gloves. This is the third and final round. Here we go. Third and final round. Roy Wills, Joe Concha. This is quarter final number three. John Wayne Parr, the nine-time world champion and people's champion, has Joe Concha just up on the cards. Beautiful bit body kick there by Roy. Uh, the landed pretty solid and, and took Joe off his feet for a split second then. Oh, I guess a takedown. Roy started this round perfectly. He's got to keep this momentum going forward if he wants this to be a close fight. Blair was having a, a good word to him in between rounds two and three. Oh. Crossing elbow. Both boys exchange. Both boys just miss. Oh. 
Purdy in the corner of Roy Wills just calling out nice. punch and kick. Oh, nice elbow there by Roy. Crossing elbow there from the Contra in return. Oh, step up, Lee. Beautiful step up. Oh, can he? Oh. Right, this is what Muay Thai is all about. We're spoiled to see this 62 kilo eight man eliminator here in centre ring. Oh, just misses. Just had Joe off his feet just for a split second, but couldn't take advantage of it. Now Joe's back with the dub on the hook. Matty Reed just breaking the boys up. Oh, mate, I expected them to, both boys to really come out in this third and final round. Yeah. But is it Roy's work rate and his scoring technique that's doing it for him in this third round? Right. He's doing a lot better than this round than he's the last pre the previous two. He needs to pick it up though. He really has to um, show the judges that he deserves it. One minute remaining. Joe Concha for my liking. Just looking a little bit flat tonight, Wayne. Right? Yeah, it's 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 hard. It's because um, styles make fights, and you got someone like I was saying before. You got someone that doesn't let you do what you want to do. It's it's mentally draining. Besides physical. You can train as much as you want in the gym, and it's not until you're in the ring under the pressure with a, with a thousand people watching that you realise how how strenuous and how hard it is to try and perform. Straight back, Roy comes straight back with his own leg kick. Oh, gets a takedown. That's going to impress the judges with 30 seconds to go. Yeah, beautiful takedown and a bit of claret starting to flow from the lead shin too of Roy Wills. Both boys really need to step it up, bring it home. Nice right hand, misses with the elbow, comes back with a leg kick, but Joe just checks it. Oh, a beautiful step up knee by Joe, right into the sternum area. And there it is. Oh, there you have it, mate. This one's going to go to the judges. Mate, I'm going to stay on the fence for this one. Roy Wills, Joe Kilacontra. All right, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to find our first participant in our second semi-final. It's a unanimous points decision. Your winner, Blue Corner, the Red Bull, Roy Wills. Roy gets the points after a very hard-fought three Kilo, rounds. Joe fought a great fight. Roy fought a, an evenly matched fight as well. It was very close.